Okay, here we are playing Robotron 2084. Now, I, I decided to play this game because um, people in the retro th scene have probably heard of this whole oh, video games are sexist, you know, video games are misogynistic talk, and they think they're good because it's like, oh, we got Miss Pac Man and shit. Well, you're not good because this game is fucking sexist. Alright, you, you saw it for a second there, but I'm gonna let the intro play a little, and, or the attract, whatever you want to call it. Well, you see that this game is like deca sexist, it is platinum misogyny, it is, it is pretty out there. So, you know, man, the first man, you know, perfects the Robotrons, right? So, so he's, he's a victim of his own creation, right? And um, so the Robotrons want to destroy man. And we're the last hope of mankind. You know, the, the self-insert, right? The hero. And we're, we're a genetic freak. And so, see, we've got to rescue the humanoids. Who's the first one we rescue? Mommy. Bam. Damsel in distress stereotype, right? It even gets worse when you start playing because you think, oh, well, you're just rescuing people. What's wrong with that? But, well, see, you'll notice... What I'm going to do is not rescue her. She's just going to be stuck in this box forever. Pretty fucking sexist, huh? Then, we can do this. Just not save her. And eventually she'll get killed. Boom. Violence against women. Enforcing, you know, enforcing men to hate women. So first of all, her only value is points. That's her only purpose, right? And, uh... You know, you could just rescue everyone else first, because uh, the points are on a multiplier. I'm very bad at this game, too. It's because I'm just so non-sexist that I can't play it right. You have to be sexist to play this game right. So, you know, first of all, we can just, you know, we could rescue her and enforce the damsel in distress there. Right? She's, this is all she is, like, points. Just points, right? Or, we can just leave her to die, you know, for our own convenience, right? for our own, our own sick pleasure. Um, you know, so it's like, either way, either way, it's pretty, pretty fucking, pretty fucking horrible. I walked into a mine. But, um, this is pretty, very fucking sexist. Look, look at this, look, look. I, she's dead, violence against women. Not only are you objectifying and turning in points, turning into a trophy for the player. The only reason to rescue her, you know, there's no, like, feeling behind it. You don't care about mommy, right? You, you can't give a shit about mommy. Actually, in this game, mommy is, becomes an enemy, too. So, you know, it's coming up, and I think you'll be very shocked. You think, you think this was just something that happened with, like, Mortal Kombat and stuff. No, these games have always been like this. So, there, she's gonna die. She's dead. Okay. That's good, because that's, you know, that's what the developer wanted us to do. And so here we go. And now, Mommy is the only, only character, the only humanoid in the game who can actually turn into an enemy type. Then you have to destroy her. You know, she gets her mind control, I guess, because, uh, because she's so feeble-minded. So again, like, Decca fucking sexist, like a mega sexist. I don't even think there's a prefix to describe how sexist that is. So Robotron just, just unabashedly, super duper, mega platinum ultra sexist. Like, you've seen it here. I mean, you can't really deny it, can you? Because, I mean, I just sat there and I let mommy die a bunch of times. I mean, that's violence against women. Boom. Sexist. All she's worth is points. Boom. Sexist. You know, damsel in distress. Boom. Sexist. Fucking just a sexist game. That's it. Sorry, guys. Check your privilege.